Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today is day 9 of our transformative love yoga journey. And today's class, the theme is going to be trust. Trusting is probably one of the most important qualities we can develop during life and it's the process of trusting life and trusting that we're in the right place at the right time regardless of how challenging it may look on the outside so we got on a journey we found a guide or a mentor maybe within or maybe from outside or maybe a situation we found allies friends and now the task is to understand that we have to learn to trust and trusting a friend or trusting the ally is a metaphor for trusting life sometimes we go through hardship in life and at the moment we don't see why we are going through it but 10 years from now it starts to make sense that it was perfection that it was allowing us to learn a lesson to expand to go in a new direction that we didn't want to go we were resistant so now today's theme will be trusting and trusting can be multi-layered we trust our body we trust our inner guidance we trust our intuition sometimes friends are just the outer representation of inner intuition sometimes their voice can be the voice of intuition or the voice of guidance so trusting trusting that we're on the right path and everything is unfolding as it should be and it will be okay it will all work out it will be Okay, remember to flow with strength and ease. Let's begin at the front of the mat. Roll the shoulders back and down, chin parallel to the floor, lifting through the crown of the head and we're going to roll the shoulders up and back and place them down the shoulder blades are tucking into the back so we are standing tall open without over exaggerated soldier like stance but with openness and ease begin to deepen the breath deep belly breath connecting with your midsection core activating the powerhouse let's spread the toes open lift your toes off the floor and we're going to really lift the toes which allows us to find the four corners of each foot and allows us to lift the arches of the feet off the floor and now with this alignment we're going to place the toes down and Keep lifting the arches. Strong alignment begins with our foundation with the, ba the base of the body, the feet, and everything builds from there up. Let's inhale the hands all the way over the head. Exhale them over the heart, making a promise to ourselves, creating an intention for the class to trust our body and to move with trust in the body, that the body is guiding us. inhale the hands over the head and sit back chair this is day nine so at this point you're starting to to learn a lot of the poses to strengthen to build a lot of inner and physical power so we're going to start with a strong pose chair tuck the tailbone slightly push the knees back and trust that you can get through a class with ease and grace and strength exhale folding forward bend pull the belly in 
and let's bend both knees step your feet about hip width apart take the left hand underneath the left shoulder and take the right arm up in a preparatory twist here lengthening through the crown of the head so the spine is aligned let's go opposite side the hands are reaching away from each other really reaching release one more time right arm reaches up you can straighten the right leg the left knee is bent and here we're going to press the right hip back and reach ahead of you with the right hand palm on the hand will turn down exhale down opposite side Pressing the left hip back, reach over. So there is so much space from the hip all the way to the fingertips. We're elongating. Exhale down. Hands on the ground, step it back, plank. Another powerful pose, pull the belly in. Building the core really allows us to build trust in ourselves because that's third chakra. So value, value in the world, valuing what we value. Our inner fire, intuition. Really engage the core here knees on the ground or off the ground chaturanga either cobra or upward facing dog and back to chaturanga optional of course exhale down dog and walk in place here Nice deep breaths. Inhale the right leg up. And here square your hips so your hips are completely aligned and keep them aligned, don't move them and Bring your right leg over to the left, which is a very small move here. And stretches the hips. The toes should be turned down, flexing the foot. Very good, you will feel this. It's a very small move, but it gets deep into the muscles, great. Let's bring the knee to the nose. And shift the shoulders over the wrist in plank pull the knee in step it through high lunge come up reaching over the head extending the tailbone down exhale down step it back plank lower down chaturanga or cobra whichever one you want to do upward dog or cobra and optional second chaturanga exhale down dog and let's inhale the left leg up square the hips flex your foot toes down and walk your leg over to the right just ever so slightly it's small move back to center knee to nose bring the shoulders forward step it through high lunge breathe
exhale, lower down, plank, either lower down to your belly or just to chaturanga and lift, cobra up dog, open the chest, widen the back. And optional second chaturanga down dog. And we're going to inhale the right leg up. And we're going to bring the knee to nose. And we're going to shift forward in plank and step it through with a straight back and a glorious inhalation, come up. And as you exhale, lower down. Feeling the body as you move, step it back. Either onto your belly or in Chaturanga and open up dog or cobra. And optional second, knees on the floor optional. Exhale, down dog, breathe. Inhale, the right leg up. Knee to nose. Shifting forward. Step it through. Straight back, come up. And exhale. Straight back down. And move here through your vinyasa. Vinyasa is this connecting move between plank all the way to down dog. And exhaling down dog. And here we are going to do the same exact vinyasa without me speaking for uh, anywhere from three to five more reps and you can for the first one you can look at the screen to remind yourself about the vinyasa if you've forgotten it already and then just trust your body and move with inner guidance the few more of these moves you can close your eyes even and just feel the moves coming up into High lunge, lowering down to plank and back to down dog and then the left side and go at your own speed. Count as many as you want, anywhere from three to five reps, vinyasas, and we'll meet back here in down dog. So are you guys ready? We're just going to flow, trusting the body, close your eyes. It's not a mandatory thing, you can check in with the screen if you feel more comfortable that way, but try to quiet down and just feel the body and move through the vinyasa. If you need to adjust it in some way, do that. If you need to be creative or if you just need to flow and pay attention to the breath, do that. So let's go, starting with the right leg up.
<laughs> coming back to downward facing dog when you're ready And let's walk the hands to the back of the mat open your feet out and sit back in yogic squat hands in prayer if you can learning we're learning to trust the breath is our guidance in yoga learning to deepen the breath to heal through the breath to deepen the practice through the breath Great, from here we're going to walk the hands to the front of the mat and take a plank. Pull the belly in, really strong core. Yes, you got it, you have a strong core. It's in there. We're going to bring the right knee between the elbows and back and again, right knee between the elbows and back. And again, right knee between the elbows and back all the way into one legged down dog and the next time you come in step it through keep the left hand down take the right arm up twist stay in that twist and come up and we're going to bring the right hand down the left leg reach up reach to the front hands in prayer shift onto the right leg and find variety level the hips here keeping the hips level with the floor bend the right knee step your back high lunge breathe hands in prayer once again and this time we're going to bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee lengthen through the crown of the head and press back into the back heel gorgeous coming up and lower down plank good job take the left leg up knee between the elbows one and back pull the belly in two and back pull the belly in squeeze and all the way back to down dog let's step it through left leg comes in come Come up with the left hand, right arm on the floor, twist. And coming up to standing with a twist. Right arm reaches up and over the head. And let's face the front. Hands in prayer, shifting onto the left leg. Warrior three level the hips here balance pull the belly in using the lower back muscles great bending the knee step it back high lunge inhale hands over the heart exhale twist elbow on the outside of the knee coming out of this exhale the hands down Step it back, plank. Take the right leg up, right knee to right elbow. One, two, three. Press it all the way back to one legged down dog. Step it through and come up. High lunge. Hands in prayer. Warrior three. You can. Level the hips, square the hips. And here we're going to bring the left hand on the floor, the right arm either to the right hip or up towards the ceiling. This is revolving half moon, a new pose for us. Keep pressing the back foot up. This pose comes with practice. It will take you a while of practice 
but with practice it does really come along nicely great exhale both hands down on the floor bend the right knee and take a big step back sweeping the hands up into lunge lower the back knee down on the floor low lunge crescent reaching back exhale both hands on the inside of your right leg walk your left knee further back and stretch here you're gonna feel a stretch along the hip flexor and coming out of this back onto the knees hands to the front okay plank let's take the left leg up and bring the knee to the left elbow one try not to swing the leg here or the hips three step it back in one legged down dog bring the foot between the hands one sweeping motion high lunge hands in prayer warrior three shifting you may want to take a few small steps so one big step challenging your balance here And let's bring the left hand onto the left hip, right hand on the floor. Either stay here and keep lifting that back heel up, or you can come into a little twist here, bringing the left arm up. Keep coming back to this pose or this class after we are done with the challenge, and you'll be surprised how far along you will come with your practice. great release both hands down and step back in high lunge sweeping up lower the knee down reach back here this is a really good move for the hip flexor extend the tailbone down exhale both hands on the inside of the left foot and walk the right knee further back so take a white stance here which allows you to stretch the hip flexor. Great. Step it back, plank. Let's take the right knee to the left elbow. One, two, three. Press it back, one legged down dog. Step it through, high lunge reaching over the head left hand onto the right knee right hand back and around look over the shoulder twisting here tall great we're going to bring the left hand on the floor and drop the outer edge of your left foot down on the floor either stay onto your toes here inside plank or you can stack your feet on top of each other and make sure that your hips are lifted and not sagging and engage your core you can do it you can step in front here and really really lift engaging your obliques your core trusting that you can do it trusting your body that it has the strength within beautiful plank and we're going to bring the left knee to the right elbow one and two really strong solid moves three reach back step it through high lunge 
Let's bring the right hand to the left knee and the other back and around. Look over your shoulder. Great. From here, you can just bring that right hand on the floor, outer edge of the right foot down. Either keep your left foot in front of you for balance and support or eventually you can stack the feet on top of each other for a side plank which requires a lot of strength and builds, it builds a lot of strength. Spread the fingers wide open, breathe, plank, knees on the ground, you will not believe it, <laughs> child's pose. Inhale your hands over the head, coming to all fours, knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders, take the right leg off the floor, press the heel away from you, take the left hand forward and imagine that your fingertips are reaching away from your heel, finding a lot of length here, level the hips, square them and level them with the floor, so that requires a lot of core stabilizing muscles very good opposite side take the left leg up right arm up and reach the heel is reaching away from the fingertips level your hips here so you're gonna turn that left hip down right slightly up you will feel it trust your body and you will feel how your core just snap engages very good all right let's lay down on our backs slowly and gently lower down feet parallel to each other hip width apart press your elbows down and the palms of the hands can be facing each other which ensures that your shoulders are open here and pressing down into the floor and lift your hips up bridge really lifting the hips up and bringing the chest in towards the chin slowly lower down and let's extend the left leg down right knee in and across Look away from your knee towards the right hand. Inhale, coming up opposite side left knee in and across keep your left shoulder down soften here now the trust is trusting the process of gravity trusting the earth underneath us letting go giving in allowing with trust that the body trusting that the body will relax soften into the floor and here we go deeper into this pose as we let go more let go of stress tension in the muscles and all of a sudden we can go a little deeper in the pose the more we relax the deeper we get in the pose coming up and let's bring the soles of the feet together here reclining butterfly pose a 
Great, you can bring your hands underneath your legs and lift the knees up. Release down, bring the right hand onto your belly and the left hand over the heart and lay here for just a couple moments, contemplating, following the breath and contemplating, trusting your body, trusting the breath. Tuning back into the wisdom within. Because your body is magnificent and it is always communicating quietly with you, talking to you. And let's take a deep breath in, bringing both hands over the heart, inhale through the heart. And let's inhale the hands over the head, point your toes and stretch, really stretch. Great, bring your knees into your chest, hug your knees, give yourself a hug. Rocking side to side here, massaging the spine. And slowly roll onto your side. With the top hand, press yourself up to sit it. Sitting in a comfortable cross-legged position. Inhale your hands all the way over the head. Exhale them over the third eye, over the heart, sealing the benefits of the practice today. And let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, and love. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today for this practice. I'll see you tomorrow for day 10. Remember to share this class because the best way to support the channel is share the classes, give them a like, comment, be subscribed and spread the word. That's the best way to support this channel and the message that I'm sharing with you. And I'm really excited for the rest of this journey. And remember to flow with strength and ease.